That carpet is from another time, another place. Its design just came to me in a vision. Oh, that one. I don't work on that one anymore. It seems to get darker every time I touch it. I'm afraid weaving that carpet was a mistake. It seems to have a mind of its own. I don't know, Dicey. It's like this city is a last resort for everyone here. Well, there was one good thing here, at least. The dislike of the high roller is making even more than motivated find a way to take him down and earn passage from the bag out of there. Everyone, but they listen. No, they just giggle and laugh and forget and do it anyway. A game arena is now accepting new challenges. I can't believe you cheated me. What? No, you cheated me. I can't believe you cheated me. What? No, you cheated me. No, I'm pretty sure you... Hey, it's you! Fr from before! Do you want to play our game? We got all the cheating out of our system now, so we're good. That's the spirit! Okay, so you know how to play Gazoo, so we'll just jump right into it. I'll roll the dice, and... Gazoo! Ha! <laughs> Imagine a game that simple. Okay, your turn. And like any true gamer, you're gonna roll the house dice, kid. Gazoo! It's a uh, not, 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 not bad. Hey, what's your wager? A stunning move. But will it pay off for a conservative gazooer? I roll for initiative and... And? And... You lose! <laughs> yes! I'm so sorry. And with my inverse wager multiplier and plus 10 card of reversal, you actually wagered it all and definitely 100% ultra lost. <laughs> I'm checking the rules and it says that it's not even possible to lose this badly. So technically, you're also cheating as you lose. The rules say if this ever happens, where to send them a letter by Raven so they can update the rulebook with a painting of Biggest Loser. Uh, ooh, there's a paid envelope <gasps> with a raven it's not moving thanks for the game goodbye I can't believe you ch No, I'm pretty sure you- Hey, that's the spear- Gazoo! Ha! <laughs> Imagine a game that- 
Eh, <laughs> your own rigged dice, you mean? Yeah. Zook! What? You can't yell kazoo now unless you're cheating. Hey, do you have a kazoo card up your sleeve? We haven't even distributed cards yet. Hmm. Should have known a friend of S Wait. Seymour cheated? I thought you cheated. Seymour's cheat was to frame me for cheating. Ah! Uh... So, even, how's your adventure going? Ah, the soothsayers. They work in mysterious ways. But if you heed their words carefully, you'll usually end up where you need to be. That's my experience. Even, don't, don't just say her name like that. She's even more forbidden than that dice of yours. You must be careful. Even? I won't talk about this anymore if you're going to be that way. them dicey they look like me uh, oh and oh there's you so cute suit? Ah, mm. <laughs> yeah i think we're in trouble even was in trouble i'm the narrator so i'm allowed to just tell you things like that she was definitely in a lot of trouble Unless she tore them down. I think there's some people here who don't care about that, Dicey. I think there's some people here who don't care about anything. You ever seen a ghost, kid? Perfect, perfect. I collect ghost stories, you know. Kind of the premier ghost story collector around here. Kind of the only one, too. So, tell me the story of this ghost. Oh, amazing, incredible, I love it! I got goosebumps, you see? Goosebumps! Why, listen, you come across any other spooky stories, you let me know. Or if I had three new stories, oh, I'd have enough ma Ancient, ghost. <laughs> Ancient spirits that come out of your head to fight in battles? Right. <laughs> Not bad, little fella, but come on. I want real ghost stories. Not fantasies. Oh, I can pay, too. I'll pay a child for ghost stories. Don't even act like I won't. His hair like the... Have you seen my boyfriend? He's perfect. Obsessed? Who wouldn't be? His hair like the hair of the gods, and his cheeks like the cheeks of the gods, and his shoulders. Ah, oh, precisely. The man is perfect. I think about him all the time. Nothing, only him. It's because we're in love. Have you seen him? Last I heard, he wants to challenge one of the foreman's game arenas. That seems like days ago. Could you deliver a message to him for me? 
You're a peach. Tell him I love him and that he's perfect. And if he wants ground steak for dinner, to let me know so I can start preparing the fixing. But if he wants chicken breast for dinner, I can do that too. But just let me know so I can start preparing the fixing and ask him what he wants me to wear tonight. And tell him if he doesn't like my hairstyle to just let me know and I'll get it cut before he gets home. Okay? You've got all that? I need to be his own person. Okay, bye. Thanks for delivering my message. An arena is now available for battle. Want to keep it? Hey, you want to hear the saddest story in the world? Okay, so there's this baby. No, you're telling it wrong. It's not just a baby, it's a duck baby. A duck baby! And the duck baby gets stuck in a hole and gets turned into a spider. And then he dies! Later on, he comes back to life, only to die again. Exactly! My brother told me this story, and he cried. Then, my friend told the story, and I cried. Now we're telling you the story, and you're gonna cry. Oh, it's okay. It's just a story. Feel better soon. Bye! You'd better watch out yourself. That dice you've got could get you some unwanted attention. Hello there. That's a fine dice you've got there. Reminds me of QB. He... Well, he was. There was a time when he was. Me and QB. She was my dice. We did everything together. Fought for people, too. Not like heroes, but we did good where we could. It was a good life, and and then the No Dice War came to town, and there was a big climactic fight at the Quarterstone Arena, and, you know, we rolled a... Oh, and we lost. And afterwards, I couldn't face that. Face her. The Queen completely destroyed this once majestic town, you can see the rubble now and think you can imagine what the city was like, but, but you can't. This here used to be a place of honor and honesty, of music and magic. We rebuilt, but we lost so much. It, it's not the same. The new Forberg, it's twisted reflection of what was. After that, QB and I went our separate ways. I thought so often trying to find her, but as time went on, it just seemed bigger and bigger until... until there was simply too much to apologize for. And so I never have. No, no, I couldn't. I can't. You'd better watch out yourself. That dice you've got could get you some unwanted attention. How? Find QB, enter the arena and win the fight I never could. It'd only be a symbolic victory anyway. The Queen's too strong now. 
but but it would be a black eye for her. Yes, she hates people messing with her rules. If you could win that arena fight, that would put a smile on my face. You know, I don't even know your name, but I like your attitude. And if you do decide to face that arena, then I wish you luck. The game arena is now ready for new challenges. <laughs> Unwanted. Not on my watch, Nanny. You think she's here? I think probably in disguise. She could be anyone.
I hate gaming. That's right. I said it. I hate gaming. Oh, hi there. Oh, he's a... Oh, four guys there. There, there. All hope ain't lost. Might I stop fighting doors? Shh. Someone's here. Good. You can do that after you help us. My guy. I don't know. More by there. There is no bank. More by there. Play there. It's the ball. Speculating. Right, the boy. Here's the boy, eh? He stole the bar. He of the data ball. Stay for painting. He told the way. Never again, she says. Night for by the guys of Nether Star. Retain the Must die. Mulida. Retain the bar. Mulida. Must die. He told the way. Mulida. Guys of Retain the. Imagine not speculating on the future. <laughs> insane! Like literally, actually insane. What's the bayelda? Dioga. What the dance to get? Mayade. Yeah, that's right. You're an innocent kid. She'll listen to you. Fantastic the ball. With a card. Ah, the boy. For speculation. Boy, get out there. Boy, I do. Must be careful. Thank you, kid. A boy, get more party pinky. It's like you. The boy, boy, be thank you. Trying to make an honest living. Who's there? Boy, it was honestly depressing. Bets are off when you've got a new card from old Manny Dex, Esquire.
The game is almost over, but who will win? Yeah, mate, this... <laughs> Welcome to Forburg. You've got to go where the business is, and I figure that old Foreman will buy from me someday. Hey, mate, why so glum? We found each other, and now we can talk and trade cards. Life doesn't get any better than this, you know. Whoa! Now, listen, mate. I know things get bleak sometimes. Truth is, this was my hometown once. Born and raised here. I left way back before the town got ruined by uh, you know who. And it's, it's weird to be back. Nothing ever stays the same. You turn your back for one moment and, well, you can look around to see what happens. 
But things get better, right? They have to. Otherwise, they just stay like this, mate. And I don't know how to handle that. Oh, anyway. Enough about me feeling sad. You know what I'd rather feel? I'd rather feel cards in my hands as we trade them, eh? Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> you took the words right out of me, cabinet.
many globes as you can into the hole in order to lower the ladder and get to your goal.
Yeah, mate, let's trade cards. Sometimes I feel like it's my sole purpose in life. <laughs> A new queen rose to power, and, knowing what the games had become, took action. In a voice tinged with rage, she decreed that all dice be forever destroyed. Using the power of her dark, six-sided companion, called the One True Dice, she attacked any of her citizens foolish enough to protest. And thus began the No Dice War. Star, my prince? A letter? Let me see. Dear? Oh, he calls me dear. And then he goes on to say that the longer... Uh... That the longer we were married, the more I became just a reflection of him. And he a reflection of me. He goes on to say that I'm not the woman I fell in love with. And he's not the man he used to be either. And that we both deserve better. We deserve to be full people. He then says this isn't healthy. That he needs to find time apart to rediscover who he is. And he hopes I'd do the same. Oh, oh no. He's gone. He's gone and he's not coming back. I've lost everything. I don't want me. I want him. But then again, maybe all hope isn't lost. Maybe if I did what he said, if I try to figure out who I am when I'm by myself, if I rediscover who I used to be and truly am and break free of obsession and idolatry and become a fully realized person again, then maybe he'll take me back. It's the right one for me. Yes, I can do this. I can achieve self-realization for love! Let me give you this. It's a red band. I was going to give it to him, but I want to give it to you instead. For all your help. And when you look at it, you can remember me, and him, and us. Oh dear. <clears throat> well, even had helped a lovesick woman realize she was worth more than just idolatry. And the red thread she'd been given must have a use somewhere. Right? Have you won the fight? And 
You're here, and you're alive, so clearly you won the fight, which is incredible. The Queen's reaction when she finds out, oh, this brings a huge smile to my face. How do you do it? Oh, oh no. No, my poor little girl. I should have been there for you. She wouldn't. But that doesn't mean I can stop. I should... I should have been more like her. I'm going to bury her. I'm going to give her peace. And then I'm going to make peace with my own past too, you know? I can't forgive myself for my mistakes, but I can learn from them. That's what she would have wanted. Not, not for me to be sad, but to celebrate our friendship. To celebrate what it stood for. Here... I want you to have this, a friendship bracelet that QB made for me once. I... I think she would have wanted you to have it. I don't need blue thread to remind me of what we shared. She lives in me now, and if I could give you some advice... The bond you and your dice share, it's important, and the friendship will define both your lives. Don't let anyone keep you apart. You belong together. Even had brought closure to the old dice wielder, and in doing so, given him new motivation for his future. The blue thread in her hand seemed to pulsate with warm magic. It was oddly comforting, actually. I hate gaming. That's right, I said it. I hate gaming! Oh, you spoke to my friends. Of course you did. Ugh, oh, look at me. Asking a kid what I should do with my life. But I am asking. What do I do, kid? Go back to speculating on games to fit in? Or give it up and risk being lonely forever? Everything's a game simply because we live in a world with giant board game arenas ruled by a queen who decides our fates with the roll of a random dice. That actually is a fair point, kid. Oh, maybe you're right. Well, bye forever! Might I stop? Or Does she want to speculate with us? I died, da. My We're gonna have so much fun with her now. I died, da. But die, gay, Nothing bad will ever happen. Put the dance, the gay. Da yoga. My da delta. Put dal de ya. As a boy. And speculation. Of
heard any good ghost stories lately? Go on. Children are both more likely to see a ghost and more likely to be completely terrified by the encounter. <laughs> I can't wait. Ah, uh, I, uh, hmm. Oh, I see. And? Did they, um, you know, die at the end and be huh. Well, that's, uh, well, that is technically a ghost story then, and, uh, well, I I'll say that. Heard any good ghost stories lately? Ooh, <laughs> an ancient class of warriors. Hmm, tell me more. Is there a ghost in it? Interesting. Fascinating. Ooh, not a physical ghost, but the ghosts of tomorrow. All of all your regrets haunting you better than... Heard any good ghost stories lately? Wow. Oh, the soothsayers are treasure troves of spooky stories and ancient knowledge. If you could ever get them to talk to you. So, let's hear it. Ooh, I already like where this is going. Classic, classic. Oh, and so mysterious. Heard any good ghost stories lately? Ooh, listen. I've never been to the Soothsayer District. People disappear in there. They miss me well as they shouldn't. Oh, wait! Oh, I've got calls to try. That man. That was the man who'd thrown even in the garbage in Two Town. He was a Destroy the adversary to advance.
The blocking enemy has been defeated. The playing piece may advance. The playing piece is blocked by an adversary. Destroy the adversary to advance. Adversary has been defeated. The playing piece can now advance. There's a durability bubble in the board game. Locked by an adversary. Defeat the adversary to advance.
The playing piece is blocked by an adversary. Destroy the adversary to advance. The board game is nearing its end. Soon we shall have a winner. has been defeated. The playing piece may advance. Durability bubble has appeared. Saved me! 
Oh, thank you. Thank you. Wait. Uh, hold on a tick. I, I know you from somewhere. Don't I? Right. So I did. For you are garbage, and from garbage you shall return. Am I right? <laughs> uh, oh, this is awkward, isn't it? <laughs> hey, Mr. Lunchbox, me old eye poking friend. Well, I'm a fair sight. I'm glad you did. <laughs> Easy, easy! Hey, uh, after I tossed you aside, uh, you kept on doing things in Two Town, didn't you? And then you ended up destroying the Big Bad Royum, am I right? So now the Queen's top servant in all of Two Town is dead, and I'm the one who could have stopped you from entering the town, but sorta of didn't. So I'm the one she's gonna come after. So I fled, and now I'm here. And life's not great, yeah, and my life started getting worse right after I met you, yeah? <laughs> Man, I don't hate you. Honest, I don't. I want that queen gone. And I think you're the one who's come closer than any of us ever did. And I can tell you don't think much of me, and I guess I don't fault you for that, but... I'm glad you saved me all the same. So here, I don't have money, but I do have this lucky thread. I have a feeling you could uh, use all the luck you can get. See you around, kid. Mr. Lunchbox. Huh. Even had helped someone who'd done nothing but be mean to her and been shown kindness in exchange. <laughs> It's always nice when things work out that way. Even if the reward she was given was a um, short length of unremarkable and apparently useless purple thread. <laughs>